1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. Our friend Paul Harding was in, in studio last week. He's on the phone again this week. How you doing, man? Welcome back to the hey, show. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Doing great. All right, so we saw this when it came out, like, January, and it's right. been really steady online as far as being being out there uh, viral. Right. But there's an attorney, uh, Warren Redlick, uh, who ho- holds up a flyer in the picture in Florida, uh, basically saying that he's not going to roll down his window and this guy has customized what he's calling these fair DUI signs for 10 different states, and New York is one of them. Basically, he's saying is that rolling down your window is surrendering your right to remain silent. How does, how do you, how does that fall? How does that work here in New York, Paul? Will it even play? You know, first of all, he's an interesting guy. Warren Redlich used to live in Albany, and he was a lawyer here for a long time. He moved to Florida 10, 12 years ago, and then he resurfaces here nationally. Uh, with this, he was always been a unique guy who had a unique perspective. Uh, I've known him over the years. So what he's saying is, hey, listen, you know, if you roll down your window, you potentially are subjecting yourself to an unreasonable search and seizure, to self-incrimination. You're doing the had given police the ability to look beyond um, what's happening in there. And he's saying, even if you know, I mean, he's not talking about people who are drunk. Just once the police try to roll down your window, innocent people get arrested. So. You know, this thing is kind of going viral, and, and here in New York, I, I think that you hold up a sign that says, I want my lawyer and, and all this stuff. I, you're just not going to roll past that DWI checkpoint. You know, you're right. really asking for additional police involvement. But and, and hours like, and hours and hours of your time uh, I think so. probably yeah. sitting at the, at the – I mean – do you get your like? For instance, let's play this out for a second. I'm rolling sure. through, and I, you know, I don't drink, haven't for many, many years, and I and I say this is bothering me. I'm going to put my sign up, and, right. I, and how much time, Paul? Because I'm going to have to call you, um, <laughs> and then am I going to have to pull over to the side of the road for an hour? Are they going to wait till the whole check the thing is done, and then bring me down to the station? How does that work? How much time out of my life <laughs> to make that yeah. happen? Sure. No, you know, once you're on their radar, of course, you know, now your license plate's being checked. Now they're, you know, maybe there's an inspection issue. Maybe your the lights aren't, aren't all working. It, it's, sure, it, it's going to involve additional scrutiny. He's making a technical legal argument, which right. in 1990, the court's, Supreme Court said DWI checkpoints are okay. So he's trying to revisit that law and say, you know, they're really not okay. So making a technical legal argument when you're just trying to get home uh, at, at night or, or just trying to get trying to pass through town right. uh, is not a great idea. Um, you know, his, his argument is, listen, you know, uh, there's got to be probable cause to get pulled over and, and get pulled over. They can't just kind of randomly start pulling people all, all over the place. It has to be DWI checkpoint. But once they get you, you don't have to roll that window down, which, which could give them additional information that maybe you've done other things wrong. So, like a smell of some kind or a... The intoxicants, yeah. the smell of alcohol, right. or maybe you go for your glove compartment and there's a gun inside. I mean, it happens, you know, people... Right. So, <laughs> you but, know, even though you're legally able to carry the gun, you know, now you're just there for a while, having a conversation. So is, is this attorney, is he doing this so that, it, so that it, 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 he can change the law? I mean, he's not doing this so he can roll through checkpoints. He's doing this to make a point on a grand scale, right? He is. You know, he, he believes that these DWI checkpoints put innocent people at risk. Um, now he's, you know, again, making a name for himself. I have, again, be from here. I know him. He's a unique guy. Uh, when you say unique him. guy, Paul, do you mean a little nutty? Well, so was he, Einstein. He, he I bet, looks, I bet Einstein little, was pretty unique. No, he looks a little nutty. Is he a little nutty, Paul? He, do you want to say that? No, no he's not, wasn't nutty at all. He was just one of these guys who would really think and think and think his way through things. And I could see him getting caught on this technical point. And just saying, this is wrong, and I'm going to I'll fight this right to the end. I mean, no, he had a lot of great qualities about him. Uh, wasn't crazy. He was okay. just a guy who could get real focused on something and then right. end up in the Supreme Court of the United States. So that, that's he, he, that's that's the uniqueness. Yeah. Paul, I, I, uh, when a police officer in general stops you, and I know I've saw a story about this in the last few years, when when they stop you at all, and they ask to see, you know, identification. Do you and they ask your name? Do you have to give the police officer either of those things? You do. You and do. You okay. do have to give them identification. And, and when you're pulled over in your vehicle in New York, you're you have to give your I'm sorry uh, insurance I should, card. I should, I should clarify. I meant just wandering down the street. If you uh, you and a police officer, no motor vehicle, 
do you, and, and they ask for your ID and and ask, or even just ask your name. Yeah, but you don't have to have it on you. So how can you be required to okay. give it to them? That's okay. my question. Okay, right? good point. Yeah, yeah. okay, I, I missed that. Yeah, if you're just wandering wander down the street now. If you have done something that would give them probable cause to ask you some questions, then they can ask, and if you don't have it, they can hold you until they verify it. But if you're just sitting in the park feeding ducks, they right. they can't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly it right. depends on what your definition of feeding the ducks is. <laughs> it might be a metaphor. Right. <laughs> right exactly. It be something. Right. If, if you want to, uh, and we can put a link up on our page, but it's fairdui.org. It's, it's up there. It's up oh, there it's already right up. now. So yeah, you, go check it out. So, so you it can is, see the customized signs for New York. Right. We're not saying use them. No. We're saying you can see them. It's just there. nice to know there's someone out there fighting for that, uh, you know, the, yeah. those clauses or whatever you call it. So. Sure is. Thanks, Paul. We Paul, appreciate it, Paul buddy. Harding okay, guys. Martin Harding and Mazzotti, 1-800-LAW-1010 and 1-800-LAW-1010.com. Thanks again, Paul.